pH 0. Battery acid. Right at the bottom, pH 0 represents maximum acidity. The most common example is sulfuric acid in car batteries. This liquid can burn through skin, clothing, wood, and even react violently with metals. In labs, pH 0 solutions are considered extremely dangerous and require protective gear. What makes them scary is that they don't just burn like fire. They chemically break down tissue on contact, destroying proteins and fat. Industrial accidents involving concentrated sulfuric acid can cause deep wounds and permanent scars. Yet, despite this danger, it powers millions of vehicles every single day. pH 1. Stomach Acid Your body actually produces one of the most powerful acids in nature, hydrochloric acid, with a pH of about 1. It breaks down food, kills bacteria, and helps release nutrients. Without it, you couldn't digest proteins properly. Your stomach protects itself with a thick layer of mucus. But when that barrier weakens, the acid starts eating into the stomach lining, causing ulcers. Some animals, like vultures, have stomach acid even stronger than ours, allowing them to safely digest rotting meat filled with dangerous microbes. pH 2. Lemon Juice and Vinegar Drop a lemon into your water, and you're drinking something with a pH of around 2. Vinegar is similar, thanks to acetic acid. Both are strong enough to sting if they hit a cut or sore spot in your mouth, yet safe enough to eat. That sour tang in lemonade or pickles? It's the acidity. This level also helps preserve food, since many bacteria can't survive in such an acidic environment. pH 3. Soda and Orange Juice This level is home to common drinks like cola and orange juice. The acidity here is high enough to cause long-term damage to tooth enamel if consumed too often. Dentists constantly warn about soft drinks not just for sugar, but for acidity. Orange juice has vitamins, but its pH is still strong enough to erode teeth over time. Some candies, especially sour ones, can even push close to this range, which is why they're notorious for dental problems. pH 4. Tomato Juice and Acid Rain Tomatoes fall into this range, giving them that distinctive tangy taste. Acid rain also measures around pH 4. Normal rainwater is naturally a bit acidic at about 5.6, but pollution from sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides drops it lower. Acid rain damages forests, kills fish in lakes, and corrodes old buildings. Imagine centuries-old statues slowly dissolving. That's the work of slightly acidic rain over decades pH 5, black coffee. Coffee lovers live in this zone. A typical cup of black coffee has a pH of about 5, which explains its acidic bite. While safe to drink, regular coffee can contribute to acid reflux and digestive discomfort in sensitive people. Coffee's acidity also gives it complexity of flavor. Beans grown in different soils and climates can shift the balance, which is why Ethiopian coffee tastes so different from Brazilian pH 6. Milk and Saliva Now we're getting close to neutral. Fresh milk sits around pH 6, which is mildly acidic. Human saliva also hovers here, though it changes after meals. Saliva is nature's natural defense against tooth decay. It buffers the acids produced by bacteria after you eat sugar. That's why having a dry mouth increases the risk of cavities. Milk's slight acidity is balanced by its calcium which helps strengthen teeth and bones. pH 7. Pure water, neutral. At the exact midpoint sits pure distilled water, perfectly neutral at pH 7. It's the reference point scientists use to measure everything else. But everyday drinking water isn't perfectly neutral. Tap water often leans slightly basic due to minerals like calcium carbonate, while bottled waters can range from slightly acidic to mildly alkaline depending on their source. Neutral pH is rare in nature, but essential in labs and experiments. pH 8. Seawater and baking soda. Seawater is usually around pH 8. This slightly basic environment is crucial for marine life. Many shells and corals rely on stable pH to build calcium carbonate structures. Even small changes in ocean pH due to rising carbon dioxide levels, a process called ocean acidification, threaten entire ecosystems. Baking soda also sits here. 
It's safe enough for baking and acts as a natural antacid. People even use it in toothpaste or as a cleaning scrub thanks to its gentle alkalinity. pH 9. Toothpaste and mild detergents. Many toothpastes are slightly alkaline at about pH 9. This helps neutralize acids in your mouth after eating and keeps enamel safe. Mild cleaning products also live here. They're strong enough to cut grease but not so strong that they'll burn skin immediately. This level is where basic solutions start to feel slippery to the touch. That's because bases react with the oils in your skin, creating soap-like compounds. pH 10. Milk of magnesia, used as both an antacid and a laxative, milk of magnesia has a pH around 10. Chemically, it's magnesium hydroxide. Taken in small doses, it neutralizes stomach acid quickly. At this level, bases are strong enough to have medical effects, but they're still considered safe if handled correctly. Outside of medicine, similar alkalinity shows up in mild cleaning agents or even some shampoos that counteract acidity in hair products. pH 11 – Strong Cleaners Here we step into stronger bases. Many household cleaners, like ammonia-based window cleaners or some degreasers, land around pH 11. These are powerful against dirt and grease but irritating to skin and eyes. Prolonged contact can cause chemical burns. At this stage, bases aren't just about neutralizing acids, they're actively breaking down organic matter, which makes them so effective for cleaning. pH 12. Ammonia Solutions Concentrated ammonia solutions measure about pH 12. This is strong enough to cause burns and damage lungs if inhaled. Farmers use ammonia as fertilizer, and industries use it in cleaning and refrigeration. But in households, it's dangerous to mix with bleach. That reaction creates toxic chloramine gas. At this level, safety goggles and gloves are recommended when handling. pH 13. Bleach Common household bleach, used for whitening clothes and disinfecting surfaces, has a pH around 13. It's extremely caustic. It kills bacteria by breaking down their cell walls and proteins, but it does the same thing to human tissue if misused. Even inhaling bleach fumes can irritate lungs, combine it with acids, and you get deadly chlorine gas. It's a reminder that everyday products can be surprisingly dangerous when chemistry is misunderstood pH 14, lye and drain cleaner. At the very top, we find sodium hydroxide, also called lye or caustic soda. Drain cleaners use this because it can dissolve grease, food, hair, and even tissue. Soap making traditionally involved lye, though carefully controlled. At this extreme, bases are every bit as destructive as strong acids. Contact can cause severe burns, blindness, or permanent damage in seconds. This is industrial strength chemistry, handled with extreme caution. Putting it all together. The pH scale might seem like a set of numbers, but it maps directly onto substances we interact with daily, from the lemon wedge in your drink to the bleach under your sink. The difference between one step and the next isn't trivial. Each shift is a tenfold change in intensity. Acids at the low end corrode and burn, while bases at the high end dissolve and destroy. Yet, life depends on balance. Your blood, for example, has to stay within a very tight range of pH 7.35 to 7.45. Drop too low or rise too high, and the body fails. That's why understanding pH isn't just for chemists, it's part of understanding how the world and your own body works. Your own 